were lamenting about the state at which Nigerians are constantly being defrauded mm. of their hard earned savings in the banks Bagan. without refund or compensation. Or explanation. Or explanation. Mm. <laughs> we are not happy. So mm. I personally haven't really experienced the ATM thing, but I've heard a lot of people have uh, complained that they go to the ATM and they, they try to use their card and either they, they deduct certain charges and then they go to the bank and say, how did you remove this money? And they say, they can't do it, it's part of the CBN policies. You know, they come up with all these things and I, I would need to know what exactly are we paying for? What are the layers of charges that we have? Explain to us so that we know. Because sometimes you just see your, um, your um, the, uh, uh, text Correct coming in saying mm -hmm. that 15 naira has gone, ah. 10 naira has gone, and you're wondering, mm. who did I Someone owe money? Put it down. So we like Nigeria, so please call us. I was at the bank. I had to do a particular transaction. And I just heard um, a man fuming. I will burn down this bank. I will burn down. In fact, I will sue you and you'll pay me that money. So what happened? When I asked somebody what happened, he said, ah, that probably somebody took a loan from his account without his knowledge. <gasps> and the bank has been debiting him steadily to service another person's loan that he's <gasps> not aware of. The man was fuming. I will sue you. I will burn down the bank. I, would, huh? I, mean, I went to do my own transaction because mm -hmm. I was quarreling. There's a particular account mm -hmm. I use for most of my transactions. So my groceries in the supermarket, uh, my Netflix payment and all those things. And just very handy mm -hmm. card. Um, I now started paying attention because I was broke at a point. So you know when you're broke? When the you know, alerts are coming, you don't really pay. Yes. When you're broke, you now, every yes. 50 cover that leaves, you have to check where did I spend this yes. money. 50 naira here. 250 tomorrow, and another 500 here. They will say service this. They will say withdraw this. I all manner of charges. I'm like I feel like closing some of the account. Mm -hmm. Just close it. Let's know that we're not doing anything. Yeah. If I need to withdraw cash, I'll go and withdraw cash. I've seen pensioners, people that are not um, smartphone savvy, mm. who don't have mobile banks. Because me one time I bought four for eight thousand naira, and I, and I and they debited me eighty something thousand. Back down. I swear I was broke. That money saved the 80 plus the, everything was client's account of money. Hmm. The 1 million dollar in that account was client's money. In my own inside, it's 850 something, <laughs> 8,500 something. I used 8,000 to full tank inside. Hmm. And as in, you know how I went. And the alert, unfortunately for me, because I buy for a long time with POS, doesn't come that day. Yeah, so imagine me sitting at thing. home. I wasn't on the show. There was traffic. The containers had blocked our area. Everything. I was just, just frustrated from I happy. Can I can imagine. I can I looked at it and I was like, eh? The first time I brought out my mobile bank, blocked my ATM, blocked everything. Yes. Mm. So mm. when somebody ran to my house at the dead of the night around 12, he on the door. She be your husband works in. So, so, so bad. Help me to call him. I've seen, they already removed 5,000. They want mm. to remove it. Yes. Yeah, so you know, that kind of, my husband then brought out an account, called the number and blocked for yeah, him. So I've thing. seen people truly, truly sweat through that. But you need to be, be, if you cannot be, you should try to, if you cannot be full savvy, have someone trustworthy, trustworthy around you that can help you. I think the banks have gotten away with a lot. Mm. They, I don't know why, but they have just been cruising happily mm. while we have been carrying the burden of everything. whatever scam, fraud, inefficiencies that happen. <clears throat> we have stories, I know of a particular small business owner a while back where she said either she was um, robbed or something and her ATM was taken. It was late at night and she tried to reach her bank. So she was looking at her phone while, you know, debits were, were being made hmm. and she was trying to reach her. But the bank says it's on her. Mm. So what happens mm. to what you know? What happens to someone who who has found themselves in a situation like that? In what way does the bank step in quickly and sort of compensate them? Mm -hmm. If the relationship seems skewed, where all the liability is on me and you, all you have to do is collect my money. When my money comes, you take away your charges. Mm. Why then would I want to put my money there the next time? I put it on so many Nigerians. How much money are they making? They're thinking uh, that this money, this. Apart from the fraud, this small, small charges. If I use it and I'm doing my small asusu, yeah. this, um, asusu. What, what do you call it? This um, contributory, whatever, mm -hmm. with yeah. my fellow women. I know how much I would ha have kept. And then you constantly take it out of my, the small money that I have. Yeah, what, you I, said, what, what you said, I think, was really critical is that 
when things happen, because life will happen, they will steal your cards. Yeah. yeah. What are these? Are these toll-free numbers really toll-free? Are mm -hmm. they? Okay. Are the customers really there? Do they mm -hmm. even work? Because they give you an account officer. That's the it. phone numbers don't go through. Yeah. All and that, that number one numbers is what has happened to me directly. Yeah. So all those numbers attached to our account numbers. Yes. That's with the account with account the faces of the account officer. Yes. You call it. You just go straight to busy. These banks respond to threats and the fact that, okay, so they look, when you come and complain for this sort of thing, they look at your account balance to know the sort of response they will give to you. I've noticed it on se <laughs> several banks. I use many of them. They look at your account balance and know, okay, should we just, okay, just fill this form and go back and come back three weeks' time, or should we sit you down and have a conversation with you? Then when you come in guns blazing, hey. it's not like you want to do anything, but you see this money today, you people will explain it. You see and the manager will right. come out of the office, everybody's running around, and they resolve your issues faster. You see why Nigerians sometimes resort to raising their voice you to get see. things done. But how long do we continue that way? So what? Oh, no, 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 they do. Okay. Somebody done me. naked. <laughs> Before. Uh, so we die here. Uh, but then they, they, so they, they responded. They responded. But listen, no, I they two did things. No. They made a video no, of the guy. On. They put it online, accusing the guy of causing mayhem in their bank. But I said two Rather things. Rather than address what he's raising. I said two things. They respond to the um, amount of money you have in your yeah. account. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they, they look fit. Yeah. They are so that guy already has yeah, money. Correct money. Check maybe it's just five thousand. Yes. And it's something that we need to stop. But because if because if a human being can trust you enough to save the little they have when they have. Big they will save. Your yeah. job is to keep them safe, keep yeah. their money yeah. safe.